Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching this video, first of all. Um, I decided to make this video because a lot of my lash clients don't know how to do a quick and easy brow makeup look. Um, most of us aren't makeup artists. Most of us don't have that kind of skill. I even went to makeup artistry school and I still am not that proficient at, at putting on my makeup. I keep it really simple. I keep it really easy. Um, I'm on the go all the time. And I think unless it's your job or your profession to be a makeup artist, we need it to, we need it to be a little bit easier than it is. So a lot of my clients have asked me how I do my brows. So I just decided to do a quick little uh, video tutorial on it. Um, I've already done the base of my makeup. I've done my foundation, my blush, my bronzer, my lip color. Um, the two things I have not done are my brows and my mascara, and that's because I'm gonna be doing videos on them both today. So today, let's just start with the brows. I've got three different products with me. I've actually got the um, an e.l.f. Um, I don't know if that's upside down. e.l.f. Brow Gel because I like the size of the brush. Um, it could be a little bit bigger, but I do like the size of the brush. More importantly, I like the shade. Uh, and I'll get into that in just a second. My second product is a NYX um, Micro Brow Pencil, and I'll put the links for all of this uh, in the notes, the show notes below. But I like this pencil because it also comes in a very light color, and I'll go into that in a second. But also, it is a very thin, thin pencil. Super thin. I know brow trends are thick. I know they are thick. But with quick and easy makeup, you go with the illusion when you're doing your makeup. You go with the illusion of thickness. We'll get into that as well. Third product, surprisingly, is um, it's all worn off, but it is a wet and wild um, eyeliner. They classify this as an eyeliner, not as a brow pencil. Um, this is so worn off that I cannot tell what color it is, which is really helpful to you guys. But, um, when I do, I'm going to have to go back there soon and get more of it. And when I find that color out, I'll put that on the notes as well. So first of all, even though big is in with brows, if you don't, if you're not a makeup artist and you're trying to go big, you tend to look cartoonish. They're too big. All anyone can see is your brow makeup, not your brows. It doesn't look like little hairs on your face. It looks like you took marker or crayon and filled that whole thing in. So what we want to do is trick the eye into into seeing a bigger brow while doing less. And there's a couple of ways that I personally do that. Get a bit of the brow pencil out. Actually, you know what, I'm going to, I'm gonna start with the wet and wild pencil because I really love it. So, and I'll do this on the other eye as well so you'll be able to see, you'll be, you won't be able to see this eye as well but you'll be able to see this eye. So everyone wants their brows like they want the uh, they want the arch up. You know, it's supposed to be like 60 this way, 40% this way. Your arch is not supposed to be here in the middle. It's not supposed to be here in the beginning. 60 go 60% of the way out, arch and 40% of the way down. That's the easiest way to explain it. So all we do is we make a, fl a flat line right underneath the way that the eyebrow all already goes. So flat line underneath the brow in a straight line. Y'all, I am not even following the shape of my brow. I literally went in a straight line from there to there. That's it, straight line. Then straight line down. just a straight line down. You can do a little, you can hop onto the top of the brow and do a straight line down there as well, as long as it meets at the same point. But make that very, um, make that line very fine. It, that line does not need to be thick. It's all about the illusion. 
Then take a, um, a brow brush. I don't have a clean one in here, so I have to use this one. And brush that pencil out. Brush, brush, brush. And then brush those down to where they come into a point. But make that very, um, make that line very fine. It, that line does not need to be thick. It's all about the illusion. Then take a, um, a brow brush. I don't have a clean one in here, so I have to use this one. And brush that pencil out. Brush, brush, brush. And then brush those down to where they come into a point. The second part is that you fill in the inner corner. Just straight up. That's it. I just did like five swipes straight up. And then a tiny bit of the top. Do that top 60% and that's it. So I'm going to repeat on my other eye and always brush out afterwards because you want the pencil to look like hair. You do not want it to look like a solid application of makeup. Um, solid brows look like Groucho Marx. You always want to look cohesive, together, comprehensive, not like chunks of makeup all over your face, chunk of red lips, chunk of eyeliner, chunk of eyebrows. You want it all to be like a soft blur together. So let's do the other eye. Straight across. Straight across that 60% in a straight line. I'm not pressing down with my pencil. I'm not pressing hard. It's a straight line. That's literally all I did. Like, so let's do the other eye. Straight across. Straight across that 60% in a straight line. I'm not pressing down with my pencil. I'm not pressing hard. It's a straight line. That's literally all I did. Like, sorry, these are my Corona brows. They're bushy as hell, but Corona brows. Um, so it's a straight line from here to here. I take it all the way through, straight line. Then do your 40%. So from here, subtle, soft, straight line down. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be the illusion. And then another little tiny straight line meeting that point. Comb it out. Comb it out so that it looks like hair. You do not want lines in your brows. Then we do the inner brow. Couple of lines. And then we do a little bit on the top. Just a tiny bit on the top. That's it. You guys, I haven't had my brows done since December of 2019. I have not had my brows done since I was in my 30s. If you'd like, you can top them off with a little bit of brow gel. Just to keep your brow hairs like nice and up, you know? Because the brows hair being up, brow hairs being up is a trend right now. Like get to comb those brow hairs up. That doesn't really hurt anything. We kind of want to keep these down a little bit to a point. Also get a little bit crazy and then you have to be Cara Delevingne and I'm not a supermodel. Um, but then other than that, maybe comb out a little bit of the product because these still feel over made up to me. Even though I didn't do that much, they still feel really big to me. So you don't have to do that much in order to obtain that big brow. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Oh, I went light because I always look for the lightest shade of blonde that I can find, which is why I chose these, these colors. I don't know if you can see how light they are. That's like really blonde, really blonde. I always try to find the lightest blonde I can find. Um, Anastasia doesn't have a blonde light enough for me because um, I've tried their brow pencil. Because when we get these dark brow pencils, and I know the goal, the goal is to make the brows really big and really dark and really like sh show up. 
but you can get a brow color that is several shades lighter than your natural hair and it's still going to show up. It's still going to make the shape as you can see from my brows. They are showing up the whole shape. They look big as a house. Thank you so much. That's my eyebrow tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be making a mascara how-to next. And if there's anything you guys want to see, I will also start making um, lash extension videos, not exactly application videos, but like self-care for lash extension technicians. Um, if there's anything you wanna see, just let me know. Thanks, bye.